Welcome to Around BI. Objective for this tutorial is to understand business object process flow. For any user action, various business object components talk with each other and form a communication step. And process flow is this series of communication steps that occur between these components. Understanding different components and process flow helps to know how the communication happens between different business object modules. Moreover, it makes the debugging and fixing issues much easier. We will walk through process flow for session authentication and for setting a schedule for a document. But before moving, we will take a quick recap of what we learned in previous tutorial. In the first part of the series on understanding business object components and process flow, we talked about high level BO component structure. We saw that we have all front end tools such as crystal report, dashboard design tool, web intelligence, desk key in outer layer that is our presentation layer. The middle layer is business logic layer that hosts BO server where all processings happen. And the third layer is data layer that represents all data sources. We further classified these three tiers into multiple conceptual layers. We discussed major BO components and their functionality that fall under these categories. Now process flow. We will start with session authentication. This step is first process almost every time we use business object. We will use BI Launchpad to understand the concept. When we open BI Launchpad, the first screen asks for login credential. We provide username, password and valid authentication and after successful login, we get the home page. It seems fairly simple, but what happens behind the scene? If we just stop here and try to understand our actions, first thing we can say that from the BI Launchpad, we are passing the login details that has been validated by BO Enterprise Platform. It seems BO Platform checks the user details and after finding correct entries allows us to go to home page. But BO platform appears a black box for me. Let's go further down to find which components may come in interaction. We know that BI Launchpad is a web application and a web application needs an application server like Tomcat, WebLogic or WebSphere to be hosted. So it is clear that from web browser we are sending login details to application server. But application server does not keep user details to cross validate. It just acts as a translation layer between a web browser and BO platform. From previous tutorial, we know that CMS maintains security and user information in system database. So we can say that BI Launchpad gets the login detail and sends the request to CMS via application server. CMS validates the request and confirms to application server. And based on response, application server displays next page. This high level view will help us to go to further detail level where we can see the conceptual layers and the actual workflow. We start with passing the login request from the BI Launchpad web client that goes through web server to application server where BI Launchpad and other web applications are deployed. The web application server, we are using Tomcat in our case, checks this request and passes username, password and authentication to central management server CMS for authentication. CMS compares login information with information stored in system database. Please note that CMS system database stores BI platform information such as user information, server, folder, document, configuration and authentication details. So CMS checks provided information with details stored in system database. Upon successful authentication, CMS creates a session for the user in memory and sends the response back to web application server. The web application server also generates a login token for the user session in memory. So after successful login, when we navigate between reports, open documents, application server uses this token to validate us against CMS and does not ask us to provide credential every time during document navigation. It generates the next page and sends to web server that in turn sends the web page to the web client that is BI Launchpad. And the process is same for other web applications, for example, Central Management Console or any other custom SDK application. Our next example of process flow is to understand the communication steps when we set a document in business object for scheduling. We are assuming that user has already logged in successfully and has a valid session. For better understanding, we will check the steps to set schedule in BI Launchpad first and then we will correlate the steps during conceptual layers and components. In BI Launchpad, to set a schedule for document, first step we do is to select the report and configure the schedule properties. A recurring instance is created and based on schedule parameters, the schedule runs. If you think back on possible components that may take part in this process, BI Launchpad is hosted on a web application server. So web server and application server is participating along with the web client. 
in previous example we also got the idea on cms system database that holds server folder document and configuration information so we will keep cms and system database also in picture since bi launchpad is running on application server so schedule request is going through web server to application server the application server checks the request and determines that it is a schedule request it sends the schedule information along with all parameters such as schedule time format and destination to cms cms first checks with system database to ensure that user has sufficient rights to run the schedule CMS maintains metadata information on system database. It includes metadata information about reports. So if user has sufficient rights to schedule the report, CMS adds a new record to the system database. CMS also adds the instance to its list of pending schedules. In next step, CMS sends response to application server that schedule operation was successful, which in turn generates the next page and sent to web client via web server. This is end of this process. To understand the process flow better, I would suggest to follow the same method what we did now. First repeat the process by using BI Launchpad or CMC or by using desktop clients and try to assimilate what are possible components that are coming into scope. How these components talk with each other? It will help not only to understand the product better but also to debug the business objects reporting issues. Next tutorial is very important. We are going to discuss different web intelligence process flows that will be on viewing, refreshing and scheduling process flow for web intelligence documents. Thanks for watching.